Hello Fatu once again live from the Rock Niwe Island Jehiko here. So we're just walking up to our hair cutting and ear piercing ceremony of uh, Ashanora and Indies day. So here are the pig carcasses, all cleaned and packed nicely. And these are given out or distributed to the invited guests who were invited to this hair cutting and ear piercing ceremony today. A lot of people here, you can see, they're also here to help out with the distribution of the ngalui. Ngalui is, the, ngalui is what we call a portion of all these goodies, which is made up of taros, pigs, meat, chicken, fish, lamb, and whatever else that they have to distribute out to all the guests that come. And the portion of your ngalui is relative to the amount of donation that you bring to this function. So this is how it typically goes. So as you can see here, I'm just walking through a bunch of towels that will be distributed out to each individual invitation. And you can see there's a lot of towels. There's a lot of towels for this function. I think it's the most that I've ever seen in a, in a function like this here on New Way. So the actual formal part of the hair cutting and ear piercing ceremony is taking place inside that main tent. But on this side, this is where all the ngaloi is being kept ready for distribution. Taros and uh, pig carcasses, fish, pork pieces has already been prepared and packed. You can see some bananas here also. A lot of young people getting ready to help out when, when it is time to set out the Louis. So traditionally we call this a fata. This is where we normally build it up with local wood or pallets. Uh, this is a new one and it looks pretty good. It's made out of the scaffolding. Uh, yeah, we call it a fata. This is where you stack on your cartons of chicken, box of sausages, your box of tin meat or whatever else you have, lamb carcasses, and you can also hang up some of uh, your pigs or fish on on this rack or fata we call it. As you can see on this one, there's a lot of bananas that are hanging on it. And they might have fish that was hung on there before. They might have taken it down so put it in these cooler bins, uh, keep them chilled. In the past, the pigs are processed mostly on the day or the night before, and then they'll be put on that fatta. They will be all chopped up on the day as well and distributed. But nowadays, well, most of it is pre-done, weeks leading up to the occasion, and they put it away in a, in a chiller or freezer somewhere to bring it out on this day. So for this hair cutting and hair piece of ceremony, it's quite a big ngaloi. It's one of the biggest ngaloi's that I've come across for uh, these types of functions here on Niue. And it's a lot of work and if you can see this family has done a lot of work preparation for this special event. So now the people present they're starting to set up the ngaloi, which is just putting out or setting out the individual ngaloi for the invited guest who were invited to this function today. And there's 190 uh, of these ngaloi's that we will be putting out. And like I mentioned before, uh, how big how big the portion of the ngaloi you're going to get is relative to how much money you bring. Donations can range anywhere from $20 up to thousands of dollars. <laughs> On last week's video, you see us harvesting taros. All those taros were for this event or function here. <laughs> So 
So those are lamb carcasses that they're carrying out now to put on those first ngalois or the first line of ngalois. So this is from the bottom end of the first two lines of this ngalui. So any ngalui would have f up to five or six lines, depending on how many invited guests have invited to your occasion or your function. And each line will be up to about 20 or 20 or more or even less in one line. And it's also dependent on the space you have to set out your ngalui. So the first ngalui on the first line will be for the people who brings in the most money coming down all the way and the last line towards the last ngalui will be for the guest that brings in the least amount of money. I am now walking between or through the first two lines of this ngalui. As you can see there's a lot of taros and on the first line there's like two first couple of lines here you can see at least two pigs um, over 10 bundles of taros there a couple of cartons of chicken also um, so they haven't finished uh, setting the alloy out yet but this is just pretty much so you can see um, that's how it is when we're setting out on our way for these kind of events. So on this first line, the contributions could be, most of the contributions will be in thousands of dollars. I think minimum would be a thousand dollars, two thousand, five thousand, and more. So now we are at the front or the beginning of the Ngalui. So this is the other end. Of now whole fish are taken out to add on to those ngalois, especially the first line of ngalois, and then there will be other fish that has been cut up or portioned, so fish portions will be put out also onto the subsequent lines of the ngalui. Here they're getting the individual chickens out from the cartons to distribute out onto these ngalois also. So now I'm just doing a final walkthrough between the first two lines of this ngalui. And I think everything has been set now, just ready to call out the names of who each of those ngalois belongs to. So it's a pretty big ngalui here, a couple of fish there, oh, that is pretty massive indeed. So how this normally works is that if I come to this hair cutting or ear piercing ceremony and if I bring in say $500, so when I do my event or hair cutting ear piercing ceremony and this family will come back and return $500 also or a little bit more than just $500. So normally you know if you're not going to be doing any of these functions or events it wouldn't be taking a large amount of money. You might just take $100 or $50, depending on how much you can afford to take. I've got a whole lot of life on the rock. 
So before they will call out and distribute Tangaloi, they will call out how much of Tangaloi that they have in terms of how many taros, how many pigs, how many cartons of chicken, and so forth. And after that, there will be a selected person that will call out Tangaloi. And people will wait in line or just follow through to get their portion. <laughs> So the first two lines of this Ngaloi has been called out already and I think they're on to the uh, third or fourth line. <laughs> so this is the end of this episode today guys just like to thank and congratulate bj rex and vanessa marsh for a job well done for their earpiecing and hair cutting ceremony for their kids today check us out again on our channel and as always, take care everybody out there and peace.